Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be part two of a two video series of computing some common algebraic expressions uh, using the trigonometric scales. Uh, in part two I'm going to introduce, let's call this form type two, uh, form square root a squared minus b squared. In our first video we looked at form square root a squared plus b squared. Um, so I'll show you how to do that form and then we'll see how to do some variations on the two forms uh, that could be practical. Uh, so for the first form uh, let's look at example square root 95 squared minus 41 squared. Uh, when you have minus here, then this larger number should be set up as a hypotenuse of your triangle. So to compute this, we're going to imagine uh, we're doing a trigonometry problem where 95 is the hypotenuse, 41 is the side opposite this angle, and what we want is the side adjacent to the angle. Uh, so the solution is going to be we find the angle, um, and then we switch to this angle here, let's call it phi, which is the complement of theta. Um, using the S scale. Uh, so let's see. Again, um, it helps to be familiar with the basic settings of the S scale. Uh, Alright, the similarity of uh, type 2 to type 1 is it starts by you putting the index of your slide roll um, at the larger number. So, so far, it will start out the same. I'll put 95 here under the index. Uh, okay, then, second thing also the same, you're going to come to the smaller number with the cursor. All right, here's where the two techniques vary. Instead of looking at the t-scale, I'm looking at the s-scale to find angle theta. Um, okay, on the s-scale, it looks like angle theta is about 25.4. What I need to do is to go to this angle phi, which is the complement. Uh, here on a slide rule where complements are marked in red, you simply find that 25.4 in red. Of course, the red numbers read backwards. So let's see, here's 20, 25, 25.4, about there. Uh, and I read result on the D scale instead of at the index here. Uh, so on D scale I see about 85.7. Uh, right here. Uh, this is a standard uh, law of signs computation, uh, but what you need to do is find the complement of that angle. If your slide rule doesn't have complements marked in red, then you uh, need to find the complement uh, uh, through mental calculation. Okay, uh, let's do another example. Uh, so square root 51.5 squared minus 30.6 squared. Uh, so I'll move index to 51.5, the larger number. Then come to 30.6, the smaller number on D with the cursor. Okay. Then um, what I'll do is look at the, uh, let's see, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, no, I have that set correctly, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see, 30, oh, 30.6 is, is here. Okay, off by one mark there. Okay, now on the S scale, right above 30.6, I'm reading angle 35, 36.5. Okay, so now I need to move cursor to 36.5 in red. 35, 36.5. And now, underneath that, the hairline on the D scale, I'm reading 41.4, about, uh, right here. Okay, let's look at how to do a couple of variations on the, uh, the two things. Uh, when you're done your solution, one thing you could do is look at the A scale to read uh, the square. So, of course, the squaring this is going to remove the square root, and I can read this number uh, 1710 right here on the A scale, so here's 1, 5, 6, 7, looks closer to 17, 2 here, so it might be like 17, 15. Um, okay, so you want to get rid of the square root, simply read result on A instead of D for either of the two solutions. Okay, this is possible on a basic read slide roll because the A scale is still on the front when you've reversed the slide. Okay, if instead of the square, you want to read the reciprocal. Uh, solution on this uh, K and E slide rule is to read that down here on DI, because result is here on D, reciprocal of result is on DI, so you want to compute that. Uh, you look down here on DI, which is reading backwards, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and about 2, 4, 2, looks like a little less than that. Uh, let's put it at 2, 4, 2 though. Okay. Um, let's do another example. Uh, so here I'll go back to type 1. Again, I showed this type in the first video. Um, but let's do this variation. If you want to do either the type 1 or type 2 solution, 
um, and you uh, don't have the numbers squared, uh, so you just have 36 and 8.5, you need to take the square roots of those numbers first if you're going to use the same solution. But luckily, to do that, you can just use the A scale. Now, here's a setting on the A scale where which uh, section of the A scale you use matters. 36 should be found on this section of the A scale. Oh, we can just do the index. Depending on your slide roll, uh, just using the index uh, might not be possible. You might have to align with the hairline. Uh, so there's 30, uh, 36 there. Um, now I'm going to come to 8.5, which is on the other half of the A scale. Okay, and this is a type 1 solution from the previous video, so I'm going to look at the angle on the T scale uh, here. Looks like about 25.9, and then I'm going to move the slide so that angle is under the hairline on S, 25.9 here. Uh, then result is reading here on D. Uh, you can see the result here is 6.68, uh, 6.568 there on D. Okay, now you know uh, the square of that could be read here on A, uh, but what if you want the, uh, the reciprocal of the square? So you want the reciprocal of this number, which is here on A. Um, what could you do? Well, uh, here is a cool thing you could do. Um, to get a reciprocal, you could mark the hairline. Um, okay, then pull the slide there. I should have used the other end, but that's okay. Um, then uh, you can read that reciprocal here, uh, 2, 1, 2, 4. It looks like more like 2, 2, 5 now, but about 2, 2, 4 uh, as the reciprocal. Now, the nice thing about this is if you're on a read slide roll, this is what you're seeing on the reverse of the slide roll under the hair line on the reverse side. Okay, This trick for finding reciprocals could also be done um, instead of using the DI scale. Um, so if you've got the result on the D scale, but you want the reciprocal, you could simply align uh, the index then read result on C scale on the on the underneath the rear hairline, assuming you have rear hairlines on your read slide roll. Okay? Ah. Now though, this uh, in the explanation of this, I gave you a bad idea, which is that you could use this solution to add on the slide roll. Okay, to add on the slide roll, you want uh, to uh, you want to do both variations where you don't want the square root at the end and you want uh, to use the numbers, not their squares. That just means you want to use A both at the beginning for finding the angle and at the end for reading the solution. Uh, so let's add these two numbers, uh, 115 plus 35. So I'll set 115, so there's 1, 1, 5, about there under the index. Remember, start with larger number, then come to 35. 35 should be found on this side of the B scale. Angle is on T because this is plus. Uh, so angle on T there looks like about 25, 26, 27.9 to me. 27.9. Uh, so let's transfer that 27.9 to the S scale. And we should read our result on the A scale. Um, I think we've made some error here. Let's redo that setting. So we've got 1, 1, 5 at the end here. Then I'm coming out to 35. Okay, reading angle on T. Uh, it looks, oh, it's 28.9. I might have said 27. Uh, so let's see. So 28.9 on S. About here. Ah. Then I read result 150 under index on A. You could come and you could add another number now. So you could chain this. You want to add 54 to 150. Uh, simply come out to 54 on A, uh, which is going to be on this side. Read the new angle. New angle looks like about uh, 31. Okay. Move that under the hairline on S. And you should get result about 204. Uh, here under index of B on A. Alright, now this is a bad idea. You should probably just add by hand. But, 
uh, you can add on the slide rule without doing any arithmetic uh, using this method, um, if that's what you really want to do. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a great day.